Brianna. Eight years ago, I asked God for something. It was different from all the other prayers I'd prayed in my life. I asked God to show me that he is good. That night was near the beginning of a long period of loneliness, even bitterness in my life. I know it seems backwards to talk about loneliness and bitterness on our wedding day, but it's fitting for me to show just how much you've changed me by making me the happy, hopeful person smiling at you today. For a long time, I forgot about that prayer, but God did not forget. And that's why I made it through three more rough deployments, because you were waiting for me. I knew out in the middle of the ocean, in the depths of the sea, that God is good, because you were there. This day, before God and these witnesses, I offer you these, the words of my covenant to you. From this day forward, by the grace of God, I will be your husband. From this day forward, by the love of God, I will love you as Christ loves his church. By the strength of God, I will defend you from harm. From this day forward, by the mercy of God, I will forgive you your wrongs against me, and I'll forgive myself the wrongs against both of us. From this day forward, by the truth of God, I will be honest with you, and I will not lie to you. From this day forward, by the steadfastness of God, I will always lead us both back to the cross when we have strayed from it. From this day forward, by the patience of God, I will let you throw away my dad jeans one pair at a time and replace them with better looking, more uncomfortable things. From this day forward, by the faithfulness of God, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So I'm so excited to finally say, Brianna, sweetheart, the one who makes me happier and happier every day, more than I could have ever imagined you to be my wife. Jared, our love story, as unique and romantic and wonderful as it is, didn't have the most traditional beginning. Both of us spent the first couple of months trying to decide if this was worth it, if being with each other was worth the pain that we knew was quick to come. Through what I can only describe as a miracle from God, we both answered yes. We had one month of that sureness before you left for your first deployment since we became a couple. I was shocked by how much I could miss you having only known you for a month or two. The next two years were a whirlwind. Every four or five months, we had the most devastating, heart-wrenching, tear-inducing goodbyes. I ached to hear your voice again, to remember the way you looked at me, to remember how my name sounded on your lips. I hurt and you hurt and everyone surrounding us wished for their sake and our own, that soon enough you'd secretly and quietly roll back in on that submarine and your name would once again show up on my phone as you called me to say you were home and you were on your way to hug me and to never let go. The cycle continued over and over again and then right before your very last deployment, you asked me to marry you. I said yes without hesitation. And now here we are. Here I am, again, saying yes without hesitation. Saying yes to a lifetime with you. As out of place as it may seem to talk about being away from each other so much on the day that we vow to spend the rest of our lives together, those times away from you taught me to appreciate you and our time together more than anything else in this world. So today and this day forward, I vow to cherish your voice, to cherish the way you look at me, to cherish hearing my name on your lips. I vow to grow in Christ with you and to actively seek his guidance and wisdom for our marriage. I vow to love you and have faith in your love for me through whatever the pain, whatever the sickness, and whatever the circumstance. With everything in me and all that I am, I take you, Jared, who you are now and who you are yet to become, to be my lawfully wedded husband for the rest of our days. By the power vested in me by the state of Florida and by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife and Jared, the part you've been waiting for, Brianna, you too, you may kiss your bride.